Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday to you. Just want to bring you a quick video message uh, today. Just want to um, stress that there's only one way to heaven. That is Christ Jesus himself. Uh, Ephesians 2, 8, 9 says, For by grace are you saved through faith. It is not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. So, it's been a popular teaching uh, coming up through Christianity that you have its salvation is of yourselves, not of Jesus Christ alone. Meaning, uh, the teaching goes well. You must repent or confess all of your sins to be saved, and. Well, that's impossible because we we are in this condition. We are we we have a condition. We have a sin condition, and it does affect our position. You know, where are we going to spend eternity? That is the question. Well, if you die in this sin condition, you will be separated by God forever in a place called a literal place called hell. Um, However, you can do something with that position. You know, we are, we came in this world as sinners um, through Adam. And the, the, Satan's job, the only job he has, and he does it very well, is to keep you away from the one true gospel of Jesus Christ. And that true gospel, a gospel that saves, gospel means good news. It's got to be good news, right? So, the, God, the good news is that, well, the bad news is we're sinners. We need a Savior. The good news is that we can do something about our position. We can't do anything about our condition, but we can do something about our position. That's why Jesus had to come. God desires that none should perish, right? He desires that none should perish. He desires that all of his creation will come unto him through his only begotten son Jesus Christ so he sends Jesus to earth he sends his son to earth his son was with him from the very beginning but he had a mighty work to do to redeem humanity so he sends Jesus as a to live as a human and to be offered up as a, a human sacrifice for human redemption. You see that relationship there? Blood of, blood of bulls and goats and animals are insufficient for human redemption. There has to be a human sacrifice for human redemption. That was Jesus. He came. He shed his blood on Calvary's cross. He went from cradle to cross. That was his sole purpose, his sole mission, because he knows Satan's sole purpose and his sole mission is to take you to hell with him. He knows that. So he knows that he has to go to the cross to die a gruesome death. He shed his blood. He is the testator. There has to be, in order to be a testament or a covenant, there has to be a death of a testator. That was Jesus. He died, according to 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 3 and 4, is the gospel. That's the content. How that Christ died for your sins, was buried, and raised again on that third day. For our justification, which is a one-time event. The moment that you hear this message, if you're, if you're listening to this message right now, if you don't know that you're going to heaven, or you would like to know that you're going to heaven, you could know this very minute, this very hour, this very hour realize that your goodness can't save you. Your soup kitchens and street work, street ministries, jail ministries does not save you. We, we do those 
things, those ministries, to for the um, from the from a place of gratitude that we have. Well, that gratitude comes from grace. We re recognize that we uh, we have grace. We'll have gratitude, and we serve from the overflow of that. So back to the gospel. Christ died and shed his blood. Like I said, your soup kitchens, your work, good work does not save you. What saves is realizing that Jesus Christ died for you. Okay? He did the work for you. And when we realize that, the moment, the very twinkling of an eye that you believe that, you are saved, sealed, and ready to go. Perhaps you're ready. That's good news because Jesus came to level the playing field. Okay? He leveled the playing field. And God wanted to, to be easy for you to come to Him. Now, will the Christian life itself be easy? No. Discipleship, there is a cost there. That's very clear in the Bible. So you have salvation, and then on the other side of salvation, after you're saved, one time of justification is a one-time event. It's time to grow in the Lord. It's time to um, get in the Word and learn His character, learn, um, learn about the Holy Spirit. What the role of the Holy Spirit is to guide us, to comfort us, to seal us, to fill us. So we can do the things that we are designed to do. Is to give God glory. There's only two reasons why we're ever created anyway. One, to have a rela relationship with our Heavenly Father. And two, is to let our light so shine. That others can see our light to help bring in help. To help build the kingdom of heaven. That's what we're here for folks. Is. To have a relationship. With our almighty God. With our heavenly father. And you can have that. You can have that daily. Walk. With God. Keep God at the forefront of your mind. This world. Will want you to shove. God. In the back of your mind. The world will keep you so busy. Doing other things that it will feel natural to put God on the back burner. See? It's a natural, um, I don't want to say progression because it's, you're not pro pro progressing. A degression, for the lack of better terms. Um, but if you are watching this, know that you can be saved today. Realize, one, being a good parent doesn't save you. Being a good worker doesn't save you. Paying all your bills on time doesn't save you. Having perfect attendance doesn't save you. Okay? It is Christ alone that saves. Place your trust in what He did on the cross for you. The death, burial, and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever should believe on Him should not perish but have everlasting life. I hope everyone have a wonderful Friday. I love you. I'll catch you soon. Bye for now.